Hey, this is Jake with Speed Maverick Garage. Um, I've got a little video here that I'm shooting for you. This is a DIY waste oil heater flow valve um, regulator for waste oil flow. And uh, there's plenty of plans out there on YouTube, but I came up with a little bit of a unique design in how it is that I made this valve because... All the other videos out there, they tell you to basically disassemble the gate valve. This is a half-inch gate valve. Um, they tell you to disassemble the valve. There's a little piston in there and to, to put a groove in the piston. And, you know, when you turn this uh, open and closed, it will regulate the amount of oil that flows through here. And they use a T like this, drill a hole in the back side of it, so that way you can see the oil flowing through through the valve because it's mounted in here like this vertical. Now, what I came up with is something a little bit different. I use a half-inch gate valve. Uh, I have a half-inch brass fitting with a 3 8 tube that comes from my oil supply. Then what I did was I took a half-inch by 3 8 bushing, two of those i have one here and one here i have a 3 8 inch close pipe nipple now you see this little white thing sticking out the end of this here what that is and uh, let me see if we can get it in a in a decent light here what that is is a three inch three three sixteenths large head pop rivet and then what we do is we just take and drive the pin out of the pop rivet put it inside there so we take and we put the one bushing into the gate valve we screw in the pipe, the 3 8 nipple then we put this inside of there and then we just screw it down um, with that rivet inside the center of that gate valve and it'll tighten up there and it's in there really good and then from there, you can just go ahead and regulate this once you screw your pipe T on there. Um, you can see the oil flowing through it like this. And you can either see a slow drip or a faster drip or a steady stream. And as you open this up, that stream will go from a very, very thin stream all the way to a full thick one with the gate valve open all the way and with that it gives you a chance to see what's going on because what ends up happening if you try and groove that that valve the surface tension of the oil it'll just run right down the side and you can't see what the flow is so you have to look at your flame and you either end up with too much oil not enough oil um, and, it, and it's just very, very hard to see. So this is just a very simple solution for a time-consuming problem to try and get that regulation of flow figured out. So again, a 3 16 large head pop rivet. Drive the pin out. Very simple to do. Put it in there like so. And you got yourself a simple gate valve that works very, very well and has a very high degree of flow control uh, with, uh, with this setup. So, again, uh, Speed Maverick Garage, if you like what you see, hit that subscribe button. Um, like the video. We really appreciate it. We're a new channel. We're trying to get built up. And uh, I've got some, some other great ideas. We're going to be continuing to build um, the rest of the waste oil heater. But this is just a quick one I wanted to get out there for you. Uh, I use this for over a course of two winters. It works great. Um, building a new one uh, out of a 50-gallon electric water heater. The first one I used was built out of a wood stove, a very, very small one. And it just... Uh, the wood stove wasn't big enough for the amount of heat that I was able to generate. Um, so here it is. I hope you like it. Hit the like and subscribe, and uh, we'll see you in the next video.